Goldilocks and the Three Bears Once upon a time, in a cozy little cottage deep in the heart of the forest, lived a family of bears. There was Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and their adorable little bear cub named Baby Bear. They were a happy family who loved their peaceful life in the woods. One sunny morning, Mama Bear decided to make a batch of delicious porridge for breakfast. She carefully prepared three bowls, a large one for Papa Bear, a medium-sized one for Mama Bear, and a tiny one for Baby Bear. While the porridge cooled down, the bears decided to take a walk in the woods. Meanwhile, a mischievous little girl named Goldilocks was roaming through the forest. She had been exploring all morning and stumbled upon the bear's cottage. Being curious and always up for an adventure, Goldilocks decided to peek inside. She pushed the door open gently and stepped into the cozy cottage. As she entered, she noticed the inviting aroma of porridge wafting through the air. Goldilocks' stomach grumbled, and she couldn't resist the temptation. Approaching the table, she saw the three bowls of porridge. She tasted a spoonful from Papa Bear's bowl, but found it far too hot. She then tasted from Mama Bear's bowl, but found it too cold for her liking. Finally, she tasted from Baby Bear's bowl, and it was just right. Goldilocks happily devoured the entire bowl. With her hunger satisfied, Goldilocks felt a bit tired and decided to find a place to rest. She noticed three chairs near the fireplace, so she went to try them out. The first chair, Papa Bear's chair, was too big and hard. The second chair, Mama Bear's chair, was too soft and uncomfortable. But when she sat in Baby Bear's chair, it was just right. She nestled comfortably into the tiny chair. As Goldilocks enjoyed her little seat, disaster struck. The chair couldn't withstand her weight and broke into pieces. She fell onto the floor with a loud thud. Surprised and a bit embarrassed, Goldilocks quickly decided to leave. She wandered upstairs and found three beds in the bedroom. Eager to find the perfect spot to rest, Goldilocks tested each bed in turn. Papa Bear's bed was too hard and lumpy. Mama Bear's bed was too soft and saggy. But when she tried Baby Bear's bed, it was just right. She snuggled in and instantly fell asleep, exhausted from her adventure. Unbeknownst to Goldilocks, the three bears had finished their walk and were heading back home. As they entered the cottage, Papa Bear noticed his porridge had been disturbed. Someone's been eating my porridge, he growled in his deep bear voice. Mama Bear saw her bowl and exclaimed, Someone's been eating my porridge too. Baby Bear, with his small voice, added, Someone's been eating my porridge and they've eaten it all up. The bears quickly realized someone had invaded their home. They cautiously made their way to the living room, where Papa Bear noticed his chair. Someone had been sitting in my chair. He inspected it carefully, grumbling with concern. Mama Bear looked at her chair and said, Someone's been sitting in my chair too and it's been moved. Baby Bear cried out, Someone's been sitting in my chair and it's broken into pieces. The bears, now alarmed, tiptoed upstairs to the bedroom. Papa Bear noticed his messy bed and exclaimed, Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Mama Bear saw her tousled bed and said, Someone's been sleeping in my bed too. Then Baby Bear looked at his bed and cried out, Someone's been sleeping in my bed and she's still here. Goldilocks awoke with a start, hearing the bears' voices. She jumped out of the bed, seeing the bears staring at her in surprise. She quickly apologized for her actions and explained that she had been curious and lost in the woods. The bears, although initially upset, listened to Goldilocks and understood she meant no harm. Papa Bear spoke kindly. Well, Goldilocks, it seems you've learned your lesson. We forgive you, but remember... It's important to ask permission before entering someone else's home. Goldilocks thanked the bears for their forgiveness and promised never to wander into someone's home uninvited again. With that, she waved goodbye to the three bears and skipped back into the forest, the story of her adventure a lesson she would always remember. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe.